Okay, so this is Chris, and the purpose of this video is just to demonstrate how to build the subnetting chart that we uh, use in class. Um, I went ahead and drew the eight lines, so that's how you start out. You'll start out drawing eight lines. And then, next step is going to be to label the bottom part of the chart, and you're going to start out by putting a one on this bottom line here. And you're going to put a two on the second part of the chart here. Next line will be four. So you're just multiplying in multiples of two. Eight. Sixteen. Thirty-two. 64 and 128 and yes I know I have the loudest mouse in the world okay so multiples of 2 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 next thing you're gonna do is come to the top of the one line and you're gonna put a 255 there and you're going to subtract the top number by the bottom number and that's going to give you the very next number so 255 minus 1 is 254 254 minus 2 is 252 252 minus 4 is 248 248 minus 8 is 240 240 minus 16 is 224 224 minus 32 is 192. 192 minus 64 is 128. Okay, so from there, uh, you'll come to the middle line here, and you're going to put a 2 on the middle line. And you're going to do the same thing in the middle that you did on the bottom. You're going to multiply everything by 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And then, of course, 16, 32, 64, 128, and 256. Only other thing I like to do is I like to label the, uh, the chart just to have a nice little reference here. So at the top here, the top line is going to help you figure out the subnet mask of something, so that's what I label that. Subnet mask. The middle line is going to give you the number of subnets for something. Now granted, this is in a classful environment. Um, not a classless environment, if you don't know what that is. It's not a huge deal as of right now. Uh, and then the last line is going to give you the range increment of something. Not only do I have the loudest mouse, I have the loudest keyboard. Take pride in that. Alright. So there we go. That's how you build the subnetting chart. Of course that was not meant to be red, but there we go. Uh, that's how you build the, the subnetting chart. and. Um, Remember to keep track of what's going on on twitter.com slash instructor Chris. Stay tuned. We'll have some more um, examples here.